Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say a big hey to all my returning viewers and thank y'all for y'all's loyalty and I want to welcome a big special welcome to any new viewers because y'all are what make my channel grow. And so like always, if you follow me on social media, which links are down below, you'll have seen a list of everything needed for today's project. So we're just going to jump right on in and it's actually two projects because there's very simple and it won't take long to do them so we're gonna put them together it's another Halloween video I absolutely love Halloween y'all so we're gonna do some more of that and let's jump on in and I'll tell you everything you need <clears throat> all right so the first thing you need is just some little mini skulls you can get them wherever you want I got these from Michael's last year and like I said I, I did not pay six dollars I either paid half off because it was after Halloween or I got another deal on it but you need so many skulls you probably find some at Dollar Tree or another craft store or just wherever you'll also need now these I did get from Dollar Tree and they have some good weight to them you're just gonna need some little bones they got two different sizes we're gonna be using the smaller size so you need those and you're gonna need a board for this. I'm using this, you don't have to do it like this. You can do it any way you want, but I'm using one that has a plank feel to it. And I'll explain why as I get to it. And then you're gonna also need some orange. This is spice carrot, as you see, I got it for 25 cents years ago at Walmart. And I mean years ago. It was probably 98 cents. I know it says 50, but you know, that's how they do it. They do, they'll clearance it and then they'll clearance it again. So, but spice carrot, but you can use any orange you want. And then I'm gonna, and that's apple barrel, by the way. And then I'm gonna be using black, and this is Waverly chalk paint, and it's ink, it's a color. So you're gonna be using that, and that's for the first project. And hopefully, you can guess, even though I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna do one part, one of the I'm going to do one of these one color and one the other color. That's why I decided to go with that. Now for the second project, you're going to need a skull. You can get one at Dollar Tree. I'm going to use the one that I said I wasn't sure what I was going to do with. It's the one that I tried to paint white and it came out pink in my one of my other projects. So I'm going to be using this skull. You can go get a skull from Dollar Tree, Walmart, wherever. You're going to be needing... I call this a stake. I'm not. I mean, something you're gonna stick in the ground. This is I got off the witch's hat. So if you did the project with the skull, skull. I'm sorry, I can't talk. If you did the project with skull last time, you should have this. But you can get it at Dollar Tree with the witch's hat, or just if you have a. You can also use a skewer. I'm kidding. I'm talk. Skewers work too. So you're gonna need something like that. You're gonna need some leaves. These leaves I used on my last project, the pumpkin totem which is still like my ultimate favorite craft along with the skulls from last year where I did the three skulls like a totem so those are my two ultimate favorites I just had to put it out there so you can get these at Dollar Tree or you can just use or get leaves from somewhere you can eat if you don't have any black ones you can paint them black and then I have a bat that I got last year. They have them at Dollar Tree. It's a clip. I'm going to be using that also for this project. So let's jump right in and get started. Alright y'all, so we're going to start on the first project and before I do start, I forgot to mention, you're also going to need some paint brushes for the paint and you're going to need glue. I'm going to be using hot glue and then the last thing you need if you decide to hang it, which I'm not going to do, is you're going to need something to make this a hanger. You can use twine, Halloween ribbon. I'm just going to have this as a sit down. So I forgot to mention this, but let's go ahead and get started. And what we're going to do is I'm going to paint this and hopefully it works out because this is a lighter color. I'm going to paint half of this orange, and like I said, the other half black, so that is the first step.
and I'm not too concerned about the sides because I generally paint the sides and I'm probably gonna paint the black but that at the back I'm sorry though I'll probably paint the black the back <laughs> black I can't even talk y'all oh what kind of day is it already so you're just painting and I don't mind the black showing through because this is supposed to be Halloweeny. But if you don't, you can sand it or you can paint it like cream or white to give it the a lighter color than the orange to help it. But I like that. So I'm leaving it like that. I think it looks great. So I'm not stressing about it. But I am going to paint the sides. And try to carefully get it in the middle. And I'm not too worried if I get it down where the black goes because the black will cover the orange. just want to try to get it as nice as you can so. now this literally just popped in my head as a good idea and I actually have another plan with the skulls and the bones but I have to get more of the bones you'll need I'm going to need two packs to do that, so I'm going to have to go back and get some more. Hopefully they'll have it, because I really like the idea. Right now I'm just trying to get this covered up so it looks nice. And as you can see, the fake wood, whatever you want to call it, is soaking up the paint. That's why it's making it hard to paint it. So you're definitely going to need more than one. Um, well, I'm definitely going to need more than one coverage on this. One layer. I'm going to let it dry and I'll do another coat. Alright y'all, so now we're going to move on to the black. And of course I'm going to say again, y'all do not have to do it this way if y'all don't want to. This is just how I decided I wanted to do it. And I'm going with it. So if y'all don't want to do the two parts, y'all can just paint it one color, y'all can leave it the color it is. It's just me, when I think Halloween, I think orange and black. So, that's where I got the idea of doing it this way. Because originally, actually, I was just going to leave it alone. And just let it be the color it was. Because it's pretty much black. But then I got the idea of adding the orange. And there's the black and orange and of course I'm gonna do the sides in the back but I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry and then I'll move on all right so I'm gonna paint the back and the sides and get this finished and then once it dries we'll move on to the rest Try to be careful on these parts because I don't want it to go past the back. So I'm going to try to be super careful. I 
I mean, don't get me wrong. If it ends up going past, it's not a huge deal. But I'm just trying to make it look as nice as I can. Should be good. <laughs> you always want to make sure you do a nice job when you're giving to somebody. I mean, even if you're not. But all right. So this is what I learned in art school in college in art class is to color outside the lines. You know how we were taught we should always color inside the line. Yep. Yeah. I was taught to color outside the lines. So that's what I'm doing. To the best of my ability. I'm sorry, I thought I was in camera. It's so hard. <laughs> but I'm just doing the sides now. And you'll see a little bit of the black up on the orange. I'm not too concerned with that. It just makes it more interesting. It makes it kind of look like it's trying to blend together. So we're fine with that. Just want to get it as good as we can. And as you see, I did it again on this side. I didn't do too, too much. I just want to make it look nice. and get the last of it. Now, this is what takes the longest for these types of projects is the painting. Just remember that when you do this stuff, it's the painting that takes the longest. Everything else is just pretty much cut and dry. Excuse me, cut and paste, I don't know. Cut and dry sounded right. But everything else is pretty much cut and paste. You stick it on there, you glue it down, and you're done. I'm going to mess with this too much because I don't want to get it on the side, but there you go. That is it painted. Now we're just going to let it dry and then we'll move on to the next step. Alright, so the next step is simple. We're just going to glue the skull and bones onto the side. I don't know if y'all heard me because I dropped stuff, but so we're literally just going to glue these pieces on here. I'm 
and we're going to try to go in the middle and I'm not perfect with that so it is what it is. I'm happy with that. Alright. And then we're going to take and we're going to glue the bone. Give me a second. glue it on there and then we're going to do the other one the same way but across the middle and we're going to let it dry and it'll be done. And you can always, like I said, you can add something to hang or you can just add some Halloween ribbon on it just to add some more. But I'm happy with that. I just wanted something simple and easy that read Halloween. And this reads Halloween. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to move on to the next project now. Alright, now so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to glue this piece onto that. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm dropping everything. And I'm just going to try to get it glued on there good. Not like that. I don't know if this will work. I might have to use something else. Let's see if it glues. Let's let it dry. Alright y'all, so that didn't work out too well, so what I'm going to do is I have a dowel that I bought. It's not very big. You can use what I'm going to do to decorate with other stuff, but I'm going to take this dowel and I'm going to paint it black. It's been cut in half. I believe I got these from Dollar Tree. That's where I feel like I got them from. So I'm just going to paint it black so that it matches what I was trying to do. You don't want this to... I'm trying to make the my skull that I painted and it came out pink the star of the show. That's why I'm doing everything black. So we're gonna do that. When something doesn't work at first, you just keep trying till you find something that does work. So that is the plan. So again, just paint. Once it dries, I'll paint the rest of it, and then we'll move on. Alright, I changed my mind. I'm not going to paint this part because it does not matter. It's going to be inside the skull anyways. Now, if you don't have this, and you don't have anything to work it out, you actually don't have to stick it on anything. You can make it as a table decoration. But I have this, so I'm going for it. So, let's just go for it. So we're just going to let it dry and move on. So the next step I want to do is I want to take and I want to glue the leaves like this underneath it. Just for a little extra something. And I'm going to make sure they're good and glued because I really don't want them coming off. I'm going to do it on both sides just to give it like a little fan. So, give me a second. Let me push it up a little. So, I'm going to do it on both sides. So, give me a second. 
hat. Sorry, it's being a headache. Right. So that's how I want it to look so far. I think it looks pretty good. And then we're gonna move on to the last step, which is the bat. And what I'm going to take is I'm going to take the little clip off the bat. And then I'm going to glue him. I was going to glue it under, but I think I'm going to glue him like he landed on the skeleton. So that's what I'm going to go with. And there it goes. That is a cute little Halloween decoration. And I'm again, I'm not too, too concerned about the glue because it looks like cobwebs and it goes for Halloween. So that's it for today's project. I think they both came out looking amazing. I'm super happy with them. I hope you enjoyed the project. And if you did, the video, excuse me, if you did, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below because it does help my channel to grow. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye!